I found this when I was helping tear down a barn and it's an old 1950s power drill, an old Black & Decker power drill. It's a Black & Decker catalog U-3 quarter inch deluxe utility drill. Note the old Black & Decker logo. It's kind of interesting. I think it actually looks a lot better than the newer one. It's kind of shit now. And it's for domestic use only. Obviously it seems kind of small, but still far better than most things you can buy now. 115 volts, 2.5 amps, so like 300 watts I think, 2250 RPM type B, which I believe that's like the electrical type, like device type type B, I'm not sure about that, so please let me know if you know something about that. US patent number 2487011, which I believe is from 1947, number 50927, which is the serial number. For factory service, see yellow pages in phone directory, or ask your dealer or distributor. Back whenever tools were actually meant to be serviced. So, I think we should service this drill. You know, the cord actually doesn't look all that bad. If it's a universal motor, I may see about running it off of DC power, make it like a little 18650 battery pack. Well, I'm going to plug it in and we'll see if I get shocked by it or something. Oh, works fine. smells like burning carbon, so most likely the commutator could use some cleaning and the carbon brushes might be pretty much dead. But yeah, that's actually pretty nice. So since this did not come with the, the chuck um, key, I'm not sure what that's called, the little twisty thing, I figure this would be a very good tool just to have a little wire brush thing always in it. You know, it's just, it's dedicated to be a sanding or a wire brushing, you know, rust removal stuff, and so I don't have to worry about removing drill bits or anything. Because I have plenty of other power drills, I think this would probably be good for that. Okie dokie, so we have this mech here, which I believe is a screw. Dirt daubers or mud, mud daubers, whatever you call them. We call them, and I call them dirt daubers, but... They, they made a bunch of nests all inside this barn, and so there's, there's dirt everywhere. Oh, man. There we go. Three six five one four. Interesting. Oh, easy access to all the components. That's nice. We have the brushes. Just actually not that bad. At least they don't seem that bad. Perhaps I'm just a little too like unknowledgeable about how the brushes should smell. I mean, the brushes seem pretty, like, do they get glazed at all? I'm not sure. The commutators are looking pretty, pretty nasty, so I guess we should just try to take that out and see if I can clean that up. I'm pretty sure cleaning that up should, can help. Either these have been on here for a long time, or whoever had this before me tightened these down quite a bit. Ow! 
fucking hell. That's one thing I don't like about the Vanger. The Victorinox locks on its side. This one doesn't. It's kind of kind of stupid. But we all know the Victorinox is better anyway, so whatever. Oh, wonderful. She seems pretty clean. So I'm happy about that. Now, I only have 220 grit sandpaper on me, so I assume this should be good enough. I'm kind of afraid that maybe 220 is a bit too coarse so i guess i can just get my bench grinder out and use the wire wheel on this that's kind of interesting they have all the numbers on them but if i get the bench grinder out then i go and go ahead and clean up this part too so the truck can be all nice and clean it's so tiny it's kind of cool oh and so yeah let's open this up looks nice and clean i'm not sure if that's supposed to be brown but the grease looks like what I would imagine the grease would look like. And that doesn't look like it's going to be coming out anytime soon. Looks like this. Just goes directly on there. Quite simple actually. When I put it back together, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some of this oil, or this grease, and slather it on this part so it makes sure it can get on everything. But yeah, now we can go outside and we can clean off these parts. And just to make sure that the rust doesn't come back too quickly, I'm just going to smear some oil on this. Just some regular old engine oil. This is Jacob's Multi-Craft Chuck, Hartford, Connecticut, USA, number MC2. One quarter inch capacity. Kind of cool. And as for this... It was pitted a little bit, or like kind of roughed up a little bit, but that might actually help. I'm not really sure. I think these cleaned up pretty well. I'm just going to take some of this gunk and smush it around just to make sure that there's plenty of stuff touching all the gears and whatnot. I just feel kind of bleh, like kind of sticky, like I can hear stuff moving around. But that's good. It's also very smooth compared to before, so I'm happy with that. Properly lubricated should always be a little bit, like, um, held back. Or whatever the term is. You know, like, whenever you have a skateboard wheel, if the wheel has no oil in it, it'll spin, like, forever. But that's actually bad for it. And you want to have a little bit of oil, and it'll still be a little bit gummed up. But that's just because the oil is there. If that's correct. I'm not sure. So, yeah. We can stick this back together. That all went back there nicely. I'm pretty sure these brushes should be fine, so that's actually pretty nice. Oh shit, I forgot these two spacers.
Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting parts. There. That should be it. Okay, cool. Oh, that is very smooth. I'm very happy with that. Functionality should be restored. Huh. A little pad. Interesting. And that goes like that. Or actually, I bet this little pad looks to have a little round indentation in it. I bet that goes right here. Like a little sound dampener for the end. I could be wrong, but... I'm going to hedge my bets on that, if that's the right term. That sounds a bit loud. I don't know if that's something I'd want or not, but it is what it is, I guess. We are plugged in and ready to go. I'm just going to put that on so I don't shock myself somehow. Because there's a lot of parts that stick out in here. Oh. Like that. I wonder if I have to wear the brushes down a little bit. I could. Surprisingly enough, it doesn't have that burnt smell though, so interesting. And I guess I'll mostly be using the outside, so it doesn't matter too much. That's interesting. It's me from the future. I decided to redo the entire ending of this video. Basically, I'm not happy with how I ended this. I just need to go in and finally fix the commutator how it should be fixed. So I ran out and got some, I believe, 1500 grit sandpaper. So that should be pretty good, it's some very fine stuff. And then I should probably feel a lot better about this, because, well, yeah, I just, it was kind of a shitty ending for the video. So, basically there was a part where I had a really hard time getting this chuck to loosen, and put this thing on here. Basically I had to hook a clamp onto one part, and then hook some pliers onto the other, and it just kind of boring, but difficult, and I didn't really do it for too well. So yeah, that's basically how it happened, and, well... Now let's open it up, and I think I can hook the the motor winding, or whatever, into the, my other drill. And we can use that, almost like a lathe. And we should be able to get a more smooth, like, surface on the commutator then. That is really good. Much better than before. Well, first off, whenever I turn it, it's a lot quieter now. So let's give it a go. That's a lot better. That's a lot, lot better. Judging by how much brush material has gone onto the commutator, I think it is in need of some more um, cleaning, filing, sanding, whatever. Almost seems like I made it worse now. Weird. Either way, it's okay, I guess. So, I think what I should do is I should look for like 2000 grit or higher, I think. I don't know. 
I'd like to hear you guys' opinions on that. I'm going to find a lot of uses for this, for restoring things. Like, I have an old 1920s safe that my great-grandmother gave me that I'd like to restore. So, that'd be pretty helpful to be able to sand some of the rust off of that. And just a couple other things. It'd be really nice whenever I can't get something into the, um, the wire wheel. I can just bring the wire wheel to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.